I always tell people this funny story about as an adult, I hated the smell of canned milk and I never knew why, but a lot of people use canned milk for their coffee. And, you know, when I would smell it, it would just kind of trigger like, oh, I don't like canned milk. And then one time when we were talking and I was, you know, sharing some memories about uh, a camp and everything, somebody served coffee and they had the canned milk. And I said, oh, no, I, I don't like canned milk. You know, I don't like the smell of it. And they said, oh, why not? And I said, because it reminds me of camp. And that was the first time that I drew a connection that I did kind of remember you know something but it wasn't the on a verbal level it was more from an emotional reaction level so I was sitting in a statistics class because I was in grad school and the building was a former army barracks and was sort of like what we lived in when we were in camp it was kind of the same plan and I looked up in the stat class and I saw the units of National Guard soldiers walking by and it triggered a memory and I jumped up and I said, oh no, it's happening again. And I started crying and I ran down to the bathroom. But when I got there, I thought, why did I say that? And then uh, some of the female students followed me and they said, what's wrong? And I said, I don't know, but that seeing the soldiers mar marching by reminded me of something from my childhood. And then years Later, when I was talking to a friend of mine who's a mental health worker, she said that it was kind of probably like a post-traumatic stress syndrome, that you were young enough that you didn't have enough language to experience, I mean, to express fear or something, but the memory of the incident was buried within you. And so, you know, that really helped me understand. And that's when I kind of also about the same time realized about the, why I couldn't stand the smell of canned milk because it triggered more of an emotional memory rather than kind of a conscious one.